One of my most amazing and awesome artists. Today we're going to be painting our pinch pot fish that we created last week. These have already gone in the kiln and you'll notice they have changed colors. They've gone through a physical and chemical change when that clay got heated up to about 2000 degrees. They might even still be a little bit warm. We are going to paint them today. If you had a piece that broke off, do not worry. We're going to paint that separately and then we can attach it with glue when it dries. When you're painting, make sure you're holding your paintbrush on the pillow, not up top, not on the shiny part, not on the hairs. When we use these paints, these are called tempera cakes. They need water to make them work. So you wanna dip in the water. If it starts to drip, wipe it on the lip. Please don't tap, tap, tap. It's gonna get all over your neighbor's fishy. Then I make sure that I dance around in the paint. The longer I swirl my brush around in the paint, the brighter my color will be. Now you will notice you need to dip back in the water and your paint frequently because this ceramic piece is now sucking up all of the paint very quickly. It has a lot of pores, meaning there's a lot of areas that that paint is just soaking up very quickly. So you're going to have a dry brush a lot quicker than usual. So you're gonna need to dip in that paint and then swirl around. So it doesn't just take one, it's gonna take quite a few brush strokes and swirling, dancing around. Make sure you paint your separate pieces that might have broke off in the kiln, that way we can glue them later. So my tongue broke off and that's okay, no big deal, I can glue it later, but I'm gonna paint it today. Once I start painting that tongue, I wanted it red, now I'm gonna think about changing my color. If I want to change my color, I am going to wash my brush in the water, swirl it off, maybe wipe it on dirty old SpongeBob over there so that it gets nice and clean. That sponge works like a paper towel. I don't need to use it. It's only there if I need to wipe off my brush to make sure that the color is changed. That way, I always keep the paints nice and clean and don't end up with a yucky paint that's all mixed together or turning brown. Now I'm making sure I get every little spot with my brush. You have small brushes because you need to get into a lot of small areas. Now, the more paint you have, the brighter your color will be. But the more water you have, the faster you will be able to paint. So if you notice that your brush is getting scratchy, that means that you need water. I would dip back in that water almost every time you paint an area. So if I paint one eye yellow, then I gotta go back to the water, get a little bit more, and go to the paint. I don't have to wash my brush if I'm using the same color. I just need to dip back in that water to make sure that it's not scratchy. If you're painting your fish and it's scratchy or you still see white parts left from the clay, then you need to dip back in the water. It's thirsty. All right, now I'm deciding what color I want to paint my fish. You can paint your fish as many colors as you want. These can be rainbow neon fish if you want them to. I'm only painting one color so it doesn't take me as long of a time and that you can get to start working. But if you wanted to paint with more colors, you just need to make sure that you wash your brush in between. Also make sure that you don't mix the colors. You can have as many as you want, but you have to keep them separate because you might remember that cool and warm colors do not mix. When they mix together, colors like say green and pink, mm -mm, they don't mix well, they would make brown. Once you finish painting your fish and make sure that every little white spot is colored and that you've gotten your brush into there, then we're going to place them back where you got them from on a tray. Remember, bring any little tiny pieces with you that might have broken off. But that brings me to a point. You need to make sure that you are carrying your fish ever so carefully because if it breaks today, we do not have time to make another one. These are ceramic and if you drop them, they're going to break just like glass would. So please make sure that you're caring for them so much today. If you're picking it up to paint, make sure that you're holding it with a good secure hand and that you're making sure that there's no chance that you could drop it. Also be careful walking around the room. You wouldn't want to bump somebody's table and their fish fall off. All right, my amazing artists, I cannot wait to see your fish painted. Have a great time.